Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have my April 2022 burn basket, melt basket, home fragrance basket, whatever you want to call it. This is where I share six candles as well as six melts that I want to use up for the month. Then the following month I come back, I let you guys know my thoughts and opinions, and usually there is a ton more wild cards. I always commit to six and then I leave everything else to be a surprise for you guys. So let's jump in and get started. Let's go ahead and start with melts. So I do have three Scentsy bars here that I want to use up this month. The first one is from the International Wax Collection and this one is Lucky Starfruit. So when I smell this, I feel like I get a lot of watery fruits in here. I feel like I get like cantaloupe, watermelon. I guess you would say star fruit as well. It's been a long time since I've actually had star fruit. I don't think I've had star fruit since I was like a very, very young teenager. It used to be kind of on trend to get it and pack it in your lunch because when you slice it, it obviously looks like stars. So a very watery fruit fruit fragrance. Um, little touch of sugar in there. I definitely think that this is perfect for springtime. The next Scentsy bar that I have here is also from a limited edition collection. And this is from the Find Your Happy collection. This is Showered in Flowers. There for a minute I was getting the Scentsy monthly subscription. And I was getting this regularly because this is a very, very nice floral fragrance. I'm going to go ahead and open it see if I can give you guys a better description on than just a floral fragrance. So this is a sweeter floral fragrance. Um, if you like Plumeria, I definitely would recommend this. If you like Sweet Pea, I would recommend this. It kind of smells like a blend of Sweet Pea, Plumeria, definitely in the sugary, sweet floral category. The last Scentsy bar that I have here is Scentsy cotton candy cookie this came out from one of the limited edition easter collections since easter is approaching i figured why not pull this out and give it a go i also have one of the goose creek easter candle collection candles out that's a mouthful to say so cotton candy cookie let's go ahead and take a whiff of this do I get cotton candy no do i get cookie yes i get like a sugar cookie smell in there but I don't really get too much cotton candy. I definitely look forward to seeing if that ends up changing when I melt this. Being transparent, being honest with you, I'm using it up because it's an Easter fragrance and it just does not tickle my fancy. So it's time to migrate it out of my collection. So then we have a melt here from Aldi. This is Huntington Home and I did finish up the candle this past month of this. This is grapefruit and vanilla bean. I love and adore this fragrance. My store had these melts on clearance for like 89 cents. So I went ahead and I picked up two of these as well as two of another fragrance. And despite not being a vanilla person, I really like this because I feel like the vanilla complements the grapefruit. This is not a tart grapefruit smell. It's more of a sugared grapefruit fragrance with a blend of almost like a cakey vanilla to it. Then we do have two Yankee Candle centerpiece milk cups. First one here is Moonlight Garden and I always pick these up at the outlet if I buy them because I think they are expensive for what they are. I don't like paying really more than $3 for these. So Moonlit Garden. This is more of a fresh, clean floral. I feel like I get like those lotion-y tones in there. And I always say lotion-y because it makes me think of my grandma on my dad's side. She always used the Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion. And whenever I smell that scent in a candle or fragrance, I always refer to it as a lotion-y scent because it reminds me of Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion. Then we have one of my all-time favorites from Yankee Candle, and this is a water garden. Like, this is the perfect fresh fragrance. I love, 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 love this scent. I have it in candle form. I have it in melt form. I have it in spray form. I have it in wallflower form. I love Water Garden. 
this is oh I oh I don't even know how to explain it like literally if you get your hands on water garden buy it especially if you're a fresh purse I mean it's just one of those clean shower fresh fragrances I mean that's the kind of stuff I like to even smell like like when I wear perfumes in that like my husband's a huge fan of me wearing um Tommy Girl that was my wedding day fragrance um, another one that he likes on me, and it's a cheap one, is Paris Hilton Platinum Rush, Victoria's Secret Bombshell, those kind of fragrances. I'm not saying that that fragrance in particular smells like Victoria's Secret Bombshell. It smells nothing like Bombshell, but they are in the same wheelhouse with that shower fresh fragrance. So now let's go ahead and get into the candles. So the first candle I have here is from Bath and Body Works. This is Strawberry Pound Cake. I feel like this is a cult favorite. This is not a favorite of mine. Um, scent description on this one is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I feel like this is too overpowering on the vanilla cakiness. I feel like um, it doesn't leave much room for the strawberry to shine. So that's where it's disappointing for me. Whereas I'd much rather have more strawberry and less cake. So then, oh, I'm so sad to move this one out of my collection. I've been hanging on to this one for a while. It's literally probably been in my collection for four years. I love the smell of this one. This is a Better Homes and Gardens, and it's the limited edition Berry Mango Freeze. This candle is absolutely phenomenal on cold throw. It's a very punchy sugary sweet almost like popsicle smelling like if you buy a box of the multicolored popsicles definitely that's what it smells like to me i definitely hope that when i burn it it smells like that as well this is going to be a downstairs burn in my kitchen definitely look forward to that one so four more candles left. We have here another Aldi Huntington Home Joe Malone dupe. This is the vanilla, coconut, and golden barley. As most of you guys know, if you watch me on the regular, I wasn't too keen on these Joe Malone dupes that came out recently, especially this one. So I want to go ahead and migrate it out of my collection. This is actually probably going to go into my bathroom today if I can get the lid off. I'm sitting here prying it. There we go. And these are the ones that was kind of like half filled. So it was a little weird. So they're not filled very far. Now that I'm going back and smelling this, I like it a little bit more than I did. I feel like I get a lemony citrus note even in there, even though it doesn't say that. And I feel like I get a little bit of cakiness in there. It almost reminds me of the lemon buttercream candle with just a touch of coconut in there. Like it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't use the same oils and just amended them slightly. I think now that I am going back and smelling these scents again, they might be more enjoyable. We will definitely see how it performs in my bathroom. Then we have here another Huntington Home. This is Sweet Eucalyptus. Once again, another candle collection that I just wasn't too keen on this past week. This was the garden collection, I called it. Um, when it comes to eucalyptus, I love Bath & Body Works Eucalyptus Rain. I mentioned that in the video prior. This one is more of like a... I hate to say it, like I said in the last video, it smells like a bathroom cleaner. And for the most part it does. It smells kind of like scrubbing bubbles. It kind of smells like um, a commercial cleaner like they use in a gas station bathroom. Ugh, I feel bad, but I'm always 100% transparent with you guys. Just not keen on it. I want to melt it. I want to get it out of my collection. I don't want to store it or hoard it. Then we have here a candle from Goose Creek. This was from their Easter collection either, I think, two years ago. So this one is called Blessed, and it has a little butterfly on it. I love me some butterflies. Um, teal in color, really, really pretty. This is a two-wick and not a three-wick. And this literally smells like a watered down version of water garden so i think these will pair nicely together i definitely think those are going to be a bedroom burn and melt combo that i look forward to the last candle 
I have to share with you guys. I have high hopes because every time I go in store and I see it because they keep clearancing it, I keep buying more and more of this. I've even gifted it a few times. This is Huntington Home White Peach Cobbler and this smells like old school Bath and Body Works Market Peach and oh. That's on cold throw. I have yet to burn one. So I'm burning it this month and I am seeing how it performs because I love it on cold sniff. Totally obsessed with this fragrance. So that is my burn melt basket for the month of April 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.